Hi everybody, welcome back to Poke Rogue. Let's start a new game up here. Last time we tried to go the three Johto starters. And the we went three Kanto, then three Johto, and we failed with both. So I say that we just keep going down the generations with the three starters until we find something that works. Do I have any cool other starters unlocked yet for these later generations? It doesn't really look like it. Okay, let's roll. I did watch a little bit of YouTube content to see just some just some early strategy stuff. And if you can get access to a starter that has Poke Rust, this purple Poke Rust, you can get a lot more ex experience points. So catching Pokemon definitely uh, definitely has its advantages, especially as a new player. Getting catching as many Pokemon as possible is kind of how I think it, this game should work, which makes me think Isn't Bubble Sword is always the best. It feels like Bobble Sword would always be the best, because then I can use Sleep Powder to catch new Pokemon. Let's just start it with their with our Gen 3 starters here. Over at the data in the selected card slot? Yes. Alright, let's go. Level 2 Young Goose. So something I did um note from the guides is see this Pokeball appear to the top left. This means I have caught the Young Goose, but I haven't caught like every kind of Yangus. Like, there's a whole bunch of different ones, like natures, abilities, I think even the shiny, even. I'm not sure if that counts. Let's go ahead and keep the same Pokemon in. What's nice about these Gen 3 starters is they start with a damage move. Cyndaquil did not last time I played. Which was a pretty big nerf. Let's go ahead and get Leafage out there. Early game, we don't have EXP all. But that's okay. For anyone thinking that the the rogue land uh, the uh Poke Rogue is gonna die, I, I guarantee you it's not. That's a vest in the future with some great balls. Oh wow, the Umpro appeal that appeared, but let's switch Pokemon, yes. The Torchic we go. For those one of you for those of you that are wondering about my Pokemon accolades. Um, I have beaten several of the games. And on Pokemon Gen S Sword and Shield, Double Battles Series 10 was the competitive ladder that I played. I achieved top 10 in the top 10 in the world. On the ladder. Echoed Voice is a really, really nice move. Who can who can learn it? Torchic or Mudkip? I want to see it. Oh, I, I wanted to see, be able to see the move. That's okay. Torchic having Echoed Voice isn't the worst thing in the world. I will not switch Torchic, but I will switch Trico out for Mudkip. The Torchic. Echoed Voice. How can I see what the move does? We can read it later, I guess. Let's go ahead and Echoed Voice this Pedo. But these Pokemon... These Pokemon are showing up. This Pedo and these Wurmples are showing up with full red. And I definitely have not caught every version of it. So I wonder what this actually means. Wurmple uses Tackle. I'm sorry, but it's not going to work. Get Echo Voiced. Get Water Gunned. There we go. Rumpel Faded. Torchic gains 17 experience points. At some point, I should probably speed up the, 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 the game speed, but for now, I kind of like having the slower game speed. I don't want to spend too much money in the early game on needless stuff. But I think a potion... I think a potion on Trico just goes kind of hard. I'm sorry to spend my money. But I want to be topped up. And I think we go for Pokeballs. We invest in our future. Let's go... Uh, we don't have a century. I think we go for the catch here. In future... In future runs, we, we're going to wish that we had caught the century. Because if we catch it, we can start with it. And spread the Poke Rust to our Pokemon. So in that case, let's throw a Pokeball. 
Stay in the ball. There we go. GG. Not bad. It's got the ability to run away, which allows me to run away from any encounter, but I'm not sure how much effect that has. Torchic wants to learn Quick Attack. However, Torchic already knows four moves. Torchic, you can absolutely learn Quick Attack. What does Echoed Voice do? It's special. Use your attacks to target with an echoing voice. If this move is used every turn, its power is increased. Unfortunately, I have physical attackers. I probably should have taught the Trico, but Trico couldn't learn it. So I was kind of in a catch-22 situation. Super Fang. Who can learn this? None of my starters. In that case, let's use a Lore. Alright, what is this going to be? Last K. I'll show you the ropes of how to really use Pokemon. Let's see what you got then. A Poochiena to start off rip. I think we start with a Echoed Voice. See how much damage this does. The next one will do more. And hopefully by the third one, we can one-shot her in secondary Pokemon. The reason I know this is because I lost to Echoed Voice. Cringe. My last run. How cringe is that? And if you're faster, it's GG. It's a setup move on its own. I'll take, the, I'll take my rewards for winning here. Energy Ball. Sounds like a really, really nice move for Trico to learn here. That being said, Trico's not going to be that effective. Into this type of zone. Will I switch Torchic? I don't think so. And will I switch Mudkip? I don't think so. I think we owe it to ourselves to go for an Ember because Bellsprout can get super effective damage on our Mudkip. Times four. Torchic's attack falling doesn't matter. Mudkip's attack also falls. That's an interesting tech. Ember does one shot. I probably should have gone for Water Gun then. Mudkip uses Tackle. Ember. Let's use Water Gun. Focus Energy is fine. It's a free win, basically. Double battles are nice because I can give experience points to two different Pokemon. Mudkip learned Rock Smash, which is nice. Restores 20 HP or 10%... X Accuracy or Enigma Berry? Mm. I'm not sure how much the X Accuracy is going to matter. Let's Potion up. Torchic. And take an Enigma Berry. For... Torchic. Will I switch Torchic out? No. Will I switch Mudkip out? Yes. We're going to go Trico to get some experience on Trico. So we Ember the Cherubi, and we Energy Ball the Uchiana. Energy Ball goes first. Almost kills. That's a, that's a tough one to take. This isn't a trainer battle, though. I can catch this Uchiana. Let's go. I think we be. I think we should throw a ball. We need fodder. There we go. And I don't think it matters how many Pokemon you have on your team. I don't think it. I don't think they take a portion of the EXP away. Trico wants to learn Quick Attack. I think that that could be something that we definitely want. So a priority move is a priority move. It's gonna be better than Pound straight up. What does Energy Ball do? It's just, it's basically the best in slot, grass, special attacking, special attacking move? Why don't we? Alright, let's go five great balls here. Do we need a potion? No. Let's go five great balls. Invest in our future. Rival battle. Alright, this is a big battle. Round eight. Boom, 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 boom. I think like the actual final final boss is that like round 200 or something. Listen, if we get there, you'll know it. 
Okay, I don't think I have the worst matchup in the world against this guy. I think we just go Echoed Voice. Yeah, it's going to use Embers. It's not going to be very effective. Echoed Voice should start hurting. Not this turn, but the turn after. There we go. You do go first, which which hurts my soul. Echo Voice does get the kill here, though. I think we owe it to ourselves to go for another Echo Voice. Let's see. Hoot Hoot. It's two levels down. I'm going to assume that I go first. I do. Echo Voice one shots. Oh, it doesn't. But I live. I did with one. Ladies and gentlemen. First rival battle complete. And level 9 Torchic to boot. Flame Charge. I think that, that could be a move that we definitely add. So my stats right now are 16 attack and 18 special attack. So as of right now, my special attack is actually better than my attack. So I could voice is actually doing quite a bit there. Thank you, Ivy. It was pretty easy, honestly. I did see that there's like a map online that you can follow to determine like what biomes you're gonna get. But give me my EXP tokens and my EXP all. Thank you very much. One egg voucher makes a lot of sense to me. Get egg, take egg vouchers when when you can. Now, there's. Will I switch Pokemon? I think I will switch Pokemon. Let's go to my mud. Yep. And let's use Water Gun. Um, I think I can do the Egg Gotchas right now. If I can find it. Here we go. And I go to... Of... Uh, vouchers? Or... I gotta find out which one it is. Okay, I get it. How do I get out of this menu now, though? Okay, so the egg gotcha right here. Egg gotcha. I have... I have a bunch of pulls. For some of these. But let's do... I, get, I got one of these blue ones. Let's do the big one. Oh, I did legendary up machine. Uh, I wish I didn't do that. I was hoping to maybe take the... Egg move up machine. Let's use this one instead. Got two pulse. All commons. That's okay. A lot of vouchers. And if I go to my eggs. Legendary rate up. So I don't think that any of these will be legendaries, but they could be, I think. Mayhaps. Getting those vouchers lets you put your sp put your slots, put your um, vouchers into the, the arcade machines. The arcade machines spit out eggs. The eggs are how you can get access to some pretty unique Pokemon rather than having to catch all of them. Thank you, Monkip. Alright, let's see. Pokeball, X Accuracy, or Potion, but we probably want to get some potions going on some of our Pokemon. Okay. Um, can I also go to can I switch out my part my my party now? Go check team. Yeah, because I want to get my Trico into the first slot. But it's not gonna let me. I don't think I can. Transfer, reroll, all I see. Very interesting. I'm not gonna reroll. I'm gonna take five Pokeballs. Bell Sprout. But a boss Bell Sprout. Gotcha. Uh, he's got a really good matchup on me. We go to the Torchic. At this point, I think we go for Flame Charge. That should that should chunk down to half. Now you get your buffs. Your special attack rose. Is that all you get? My speed rose, which means I will get definitely go first next turn. Very nice. Thank you. Whack. Easy boss round. Bell Sprout Prince, Torchic goes up. 
I think that this this run could have a certain something. I mean, a Blaziken is a strong. Why is my speed going up? Oh, but I lose it then. I know that your stat your stats carry over between rounds unless you get you get your Pokemon called back. All right, so we got some. We have some wild Pokemon here. I'm gonna catch this Fletchling. The lore. This, this, did I have a lore for this stage? I'm not sure if I did. Will I switch Torchic? I will not. Will I switch Trico? Yes. Bad matchup. Mudkip, get out here. And let's go for a Flame Charge on the Zigzagoon. And a water gun. I can't. I can't get myself to... You know what? Let's do it. Let's rock smash the fleshling. Hope it doesn't die. It's not a fire type yet. I don't know what flame charge... Does flame charge always give me plus one speed? Because if so, it goes absolutely nuclear. Rock smash should not kill. No, yeah. I can't lower its defenses. I see. Okay, so let's go for a flame charge on the Zigzagoon for the kill. And the Rock Smash on the Fletchling again. Same exact turn. Quick Attack hurts, but the, the Zigzagoon won't get a turn. There we go. All the other lads are also getting health. So Rock Smash here to hopefully put you into the yellow or the, or the red. No crit. There we go. Now we can throw ourselves a Pokeball. And this Fletchling might be good enough for the future. We take it for now. Let's go. Got big pecs and a modest nature. That's pretty upsetting. That's a minus that's a minus stat point in its most important stat, which is attack. Minus 15%. Nasty plot. I want to see more info. It seems like the brain by thinking about thoughts. It sharply raises the user's special attack stat. Not able on Trico. Oh, are you kidding me? Let's take X attack then. Maybe should have potioned up, but honestly. I think with my X attack, my flame charge just goes crazy here. I'm not catching it. Yeah, this torture is kind of going crazy with quick with the flame charge. I'm just afraid if I get into a bad matchup or my torture dies, I could be in trouble. But its speed just keeps going up. Nothing's gonna outspeed it ever. No speed hacks are gonna are gonna affect it. We definitely potion up my lad. The lad must remain ladding. Um, let's transfer this berry off. Then they berry to Mudkip. And let's go for Citrus Berry. On Torchic. I hope that transfer worked out the way I thought it would. I don't think the other character got it, but that's okay. We go for a one shot here. Flame charge. I still have 17 uses. Quick attack is is dirty. Dirty move we just did. Even with an X attack, I don't get the kill there. And then we get we're gonna eat another quick attack now. Not if we do a quick attack ourselves. Okay. This Torchic is kind of balling. I've yet to get an evolution at all. I would like to get an evolution. I'm trying to learn Sand Attack. Useful, but not useful. Oh, what is that? Ability Charm. Dramatically increases the chance of wild Pokemon having a hidden ability. Yeah. Catch everything. Catch everything. Let's switch Pokemon. Actually, yes, I will. Trico, go get him. Don't die here, though. Energy Ball should put you at a decent HP. It shouldn't kill. 
That's fine. Bite is gonna hurt. Hurts a little bit much. Let's go to Poochiena. i say we we'll go to Mudkip. Get Mudkip in on the action as well. Tail Whip, what does it do? My defense fell. Don't like that. But we can just go for a water gun that should not kill. There we go. The bite's gonna hurt a lot. Throw a ball. It's saw a great ball. Let's not let our mudkip die here. If we have the ability charm. It's only partially though. It's only partially that the ability it says cheek pouch. So the, the reason there's a P next to it is because it's only partially implemented in, into the game. I, I'd like a chance to get some potions going. What could wants to learn Rock Throw? I mean, is it better than Rock Smash? Rock Smash is fighting. Rock. Oh, wow. I didn't even know that. That's a little bit crazy. My defense is, is low right now, though, until I switch out. Okay. Let's see. A rare candy. I think I, I will use it, but I definitely want a potion up. Probably spending a little bit much on potions, but... It is what it is. Let's go rare candy. What's my XP at for Mudkip right now? I think we get Mudkip to a little bit higher level. There we go. It's a lot of EXP for free. Will I switch Pokemon? No, I will not. Let's do Rock Smash because it's fighting. Fake Out's another dirty move. Does it do 10 flat? No, it doesn't do 10 flat. That's a lot of damage. For one move? Oh my gosh. This Meowth takes no prisoners. This guy is ridiculous. Energy Ball. Gets him into a, gets him into a low health zone. Let's toss a great ball at him. Hope he stays. I want fake out for myself. Let's go. We got you. I will release someone. I think this Puchiana can go. Big XP for the Trico. Big XP for the Trico. And he wants to learn Mega Drain. Absolutely, you can learn Mega Drain. His moves are really strong. I can heal with Trico now. Fletchling grew to level 8. The team is, is somewhat balanced. I'm just afraid of one big setup Pokemon taking over. Wait. Mudkip is full dead. A revive is 660. We go without. Trico also needs a little bit of a heal, I think. Let's go with X attack. For five battles. That's going to help out my lad, Torchic. And they stack. So I've got stacking attack damage right now. Will you switch Torchic? No, absolutely not. So let's go for a energy ball onto who's going to do more damage. It's tough to say. I probably should have doubled up on one target here, but that's not bad. That's really the order. That's kind of crazy. My attack falling on on, on Trigger doesn't matter, but on Torchic it does. Okay, we dropped them to about half. That's actually not good at all. I should have definitely doubled up on one target. I didn't have to take this damage right here. Let's, let's kill you. Should we throw a ball? I need to throw this ball. But I can't throw it right now. So I had to better I had to better plan out my attack then. 
Big XP for the lads. Let's go. Good job, Trico. Detect. What does Detect do? This move enables users to protect itself from all attacks. It, its chance of falling rises if used as a section. That's insanely strong. For double battles. Having Protect every other turn. It hurts me to get rid of Ember, but I think we do it. Okay, my speed rises. Energy ball goes out. And it does kill. Okay. You are getting experience, though. Good job, Trico. Mudkip is dead right now. Not getting experience points for anything. Rare candy makes a lot of sense to me. Trico just got a level. Which means that he... Giving him another level makes a lot of sense. Do we want to catch this Meowth? I'm not sure. I'm not going to switch Pokemon, though. I'm going to go Mega Drain. Hey, fake out. Do you, That's such... I want, to I want to talk about how BS tech that is. This doesn't kill, right? Oh, it does kill. It's so toxic. Such a toxic Pokemon. And he goes faster than my Torchic as well. Craziness. How's that? Why is that me out so fast? The Citrus Berry heals me some HP. Okay, that's not terrible, but I don't have money for the revives. I can potion up Torchic. But I don't have money for the revives. Take an X defense. We're kind of in, a, in dire straits right now. We're going to eat another fake out here. I will switch Pokemon. I'll get a fake out in myself. Let's play smart. So you use fake out, I flinch. I can still... You actually got a crit though, that's crazy. I can still use my fake out, right? No, I can't. I don't even get a turn with it. Okay. You could also go before me, and I just die. That's okay. It's... it's it's. it's I guess what your purpose was for this fight. You're gonna lose to wild Pokemon? Can't let this happen. Let's use, let's use Peck. Let's get, get his health down a little bit lower, and we even catch this lad. There we go. This can be a new a frontliner for us. There we go. Got good attack stats. Yep, we're definitely going to get rid of Meowth, my old one. Because it has no HP left. Not a bad job, Fleshling, but you're not you're not long term. Oh, question mark. Oh, an egg is hatching. Let's go. Hey, it's the little guy who does the weather cast form. Nice. And I got Hydro Stream egg move. Sick. Wooloo. That's some pretty nice IVs in that Wooloo. A snubble? Alright. I move swords dance. Sick. Ponyta. Very nice. And fire lash egg move. Yes. Swirlix. I like that. All my eggs are hatching. It's so great. Yes, Stuffle. I love Stuffle. But it doesn't have the right ability. But it's had a hatch from the egg. Is that it? Alright, sick. I think we go... In this case, we potion up our lads. Fletchling, get potions. Meowth, get potions. And then we lower it. 
All right, here we go. Come on, Kaylee. You will not stop me from achieving my goals. Chimchar! Chimchar! The, the donkey video, the Pokemon donkey video goes off. I don't have my traditional um, Pokemon that beats this. Let's just use Meowth and do fake out shenanigans. Okay, wait. So, I don't... I, this move will fail, correct? No, it will not. Okay, it will not fail. And the Chimchar flinches. And now we use Scratch. There we go. Now I have Meowth Tech. Meowth is actually kind of busted. They got just so much damage. Okay. Um, I think we actually do swap here. Let's squove it. We do fuse tackle. We know we're just gonna take a chunk, but that's fine. Our squove's a little bit tanky, actually. Let's tail whip. That should lower his attack, correct? Oh, it has simple, it can't be affected. Can't be affected by stat changes. Badoof, you monster. I should have used Bite from the beginning. I took too much damage here for no reason. That's okay. Good job, Squovet. You learn stuffed cheeks, which is only par partially implemented. Got it. Alright, you sent out Sizzla Sizzlapede. It's bug fire, which makes it completely counter. Makes it completely counter a grass type. Rap shouldn't be too too threatening to us. If anything, I I have an advantage if I just use Peck. Yep, and I'm faster. Super effective. What do you got? What's your answer? This is a trainer, correct? I can't catch this Pokemon. Right? Yeah, I can't catch it. Okay. You go for Peck. Easy kill. And everyone on the team will survive, which is big. Meowth wants to learn Payday. Yes. It's just better Scratch. It does, it does more damage than... It's the same amount of damage as Scratch, except it also pays me. Faint hits Pokemon that use Protect. That's interesting. So if I thought it was funny using Protect or, protect or something like that, Faint would beat it. Okay, you got one more Pokemon. What do you got? Applin. Grass and Ghost? Withdraw. What's that going to do? Raise your defense, right? Well, brother... I have a super effective special attack. That's how you know you're done for. is actually doing a pretty good job. Oh, thank you for the Lepa Berry. Okay, Hydro Pump. Can anyone learn it? Mudkip. Yes, and I can do it even when he's dead. Sick. For water gun. I know it's way less PP. Maybe I should have got rid of something else. But. When Badoo finally does come back. It'll be a banger. I will switch Pokemon to Meowth. We're going to do some fake out shenanigans. Fake out. Badoo flinches. And now I will payday. Okay, what do you get? What's your stat? Special defense. Okay, got it. You use headbutt. It should do a good chunk. 
I think I just use Payday here. It's not going to one-shot, but maybe he use, he'll use a non-damaging move. Nope. He goes for it. Thank you, for Meowth, for what you've done for us. But I can get a, a stat boost on my Torchic here. All right, let's go to Flame Charge. You really go first. That's a tough, that's a tough chunk to take. My team should get healed up eventually, though. I feel like my my Mudkip's been dead for a while. Okay, an ESP charm, sick. And my team gets healed. All right, Mudkip, you need to start getting levels back ASAP. What do we got? Oh, water types. And but the levels are vastly increased. So my Torchic is definitely uh, this is the furthest I've gotten, level 20, I think. Will I switch Torchic? Yes. I gotta switch you out. We are gonna go for Meowth, because Meowth has fake out. Which one of these do I want to catch? I would say Surskate, right? Does that not become Ludicolo in the future? I think it does. So we're going to fake out. And we're going to energy ball into the golding slot. Fake out comes in. That should that should do enough base damage for the, the energy ball to one shot from Trico. Evasiveness falls, does, that doesn't matter. Goldine flinches. We do get the one shot. Sick. Now I think we payday once. Or do we just throw a great ball? It might, be, it might just be a throw great ball angle and not risk it. We are in a downpour that boosts up water type moves. Let's get a ball out there. A great ball. Stay in it, please. There we go. Very nice. Doubles its speed in the rain. That's extremely important right now, and it's a full health Pokemon. Mudkip, you need to level up faster, friend. I gotta get rid of Squobat here. This Meowth is legit. Trico wants to learn Detect. Yes, I think the Detect is an almost must-take. Leafage, don't need it. Detect is such a strong move in general, just to have in an endgame team fight, if you like. If we ever make it. The downpour continues, all right. Ooh, what is that one? One Egg Voucher Plus. We take it. Oh, a Slowpoke. But before we do that, we need to... Will I switch Pokemon from Meowth? No, I will not. First, I'm going to fake out. I want to go collect my Egg Voucher. We'll put flinches, which is good. It's Payday. I'm not sure if it's giving, giving us extra cash or not, but I think it's worth trying. Confusion is his most damaging move it can do to me. Which, which kind of stinks. That is, that's actually focusing it. Go for one more payday. Hopefully get it into the orange and then we'll throw a Pokeball at it. There we go. Yawn's perfect. That drowsy shouldn't carry over if I swap, if I swap out. But it could be wrong about that. Ball, Pokeball. Stay in it. Let's go. Oh, I got a hidden. I got a regenerator. Yes, that's perfect. All right, so you. If you don't know how regenerator works, Mudkip, you're basically. You're basically torched at this point. I don't need you anymore. I have a regenerator Pokemon that's just better in every, re in every regard. 
can't do that to Mudkip. But I can. Oh my gosh. I did it. And it has Yawn too with Regenerator. So how Regenerator works is when you swap out the Pokemon and it swaps back in, it regens 33% of its H HP. Meowth is fast asleep. Which isn't good. Ooh, Egg Voucher or Rare Candy? At this point, I think I want to do Rare Candy and give Slowpoke a full level. There we go. Might be a little bit greedy there, but... Perfect. A Magikarp that might only no tackle. Let's switch Pokemon now. Or sorry, but yeah. I mean, it's definitely going to no Splash, which means I can definitely heal up. I think we are interested in a... In a Magikarp. Gyarados is just so so broken. We keep the paydays rolling. Okay, it does no tackle, it just wasn't using it. Okay. This Meowth has taken us to the promised land right now. Oh, Citrus Berry. Interesting. Guess we just do more paydays. Very sick. Learn all this tech from playing Poke MMO, honestly. Alright. Throw this Pokeball out. Swift Swim and Mild. Not the best nature. Will I remove anything for it? No. Sorry, Magikarp. I'm gonna keep four. Sick. Everyone's getting their, their XP. You picked up 240. Alright. Let's get some potions rolling on the lads. Low poke, definitely. You get a potion. Me out to get a potion. All right, what do we go up against? The trainer. I think having me out there first is just free damage. Realistically. Until I get something that kind of like counters it, I think I'm good to go. Let's fight this guy and go for a fake out. It's not gonna do that much damage against a rock type, but it's chip for absolutely free and we get a crit. So against a rock type, I think this is a good time for a slow poke to. Uh, it's a good time for Trico to get some XP. Let's see, what is Rock Polish gonna do? Your speed sharply rises. Okay. In that case, I will smack you with a energy ball. You're already going first. You don't need to rock polish again. <laughs> Good smack. Get one shot. Trico's with energy ball and mega drain. I definitely want this Trico to be up there. As far as levels. I think Trico is like a physical attacker, but I don't mind having it be a special attacker. Alright, Skitty, this should be an easy fight. Let's just go for uh, I should have gone for Mega Drain if you're gonna fake out. It's crazy. Doesn't matter though, honestly, does it? Take out does 14 points of damage, by the way. Just want to put that out there. We are faster, we do heal. And all you guys tackles to back it up. I think I go for another Mega Drain here. I think I live at the tackle unless it crits. No crits. I think it might be I think I might need the extra damage from energy ball this time. There we go. Overgrow helped out. Maybe I should have gone for Mega Drain. That's a good that's a good chunk of XP to everybody. The downpour continues on. What do you got next? Swine He's grass he's ice and ground. 
Mega Drain will have a neutral effect. Hoping that it can heal me enough. It might know a, a strong ice move, and it doesn't. I should have gone for Energy Ball. Big mistake. He's going to hit me with an ice move. Does it kill, though? Does not. So I can be a little bit greedy here and go for Mega Drain. I probably should have gone for Energy Ball instead. That way I could have stayed inside of the uh, Overgrow HP range. I think I still will stay in there. Yeah, I think we're absolutely fine. And we can use Energy Ball on whoever this is. Alright, who is it? As long as it doesn't specifically counter. Does not. In fact, I have got a great matchup. Let's actually go a little bit a little bit greedy here. Oof. Depending on how much damage they do to me. Yeah, it's actually it's actually a great move to go for this 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 regen. I'll come out with more HP than when I left with, I think. Water gun, perfect. Well, it's, it's actually, get, it gets boosted in the rain. Right now, regular potion will get me all the way there. This is quick attack and finish. Okay. It's, it is sad to lose Mudkip, but it is what it is. The slow bro is that dude. He's got regenerator. It's just, it's just too strong. Glitchy Berry raises attack if HP is low. Lore. I think a rare candy is of the utmost import. And let's get Slowpoke. Slowpoke wants to learn Disable. I think coming in and dropping a Disable is really nice. He's, his, he's got one job, is to come in and tank. Swap him out and swap him back in. Swap him out and swap him back in. All right, rival battle. All right, let's see what you got. Uh, Mommy Elt should be a decent starter for us here. Toracat, you have an evolved Pokemon into a perfect matchup. That's okay. We have we have an even better slow poke. Fire spin. Your attack misses anyway, homie. I'm in the I'm in the rain with slow poke. That was not gonna do much, is it? Hopefully, I fell in love. That actually could do a lot. Nope, my slow poke. She's she's strong. She doesn't care about your your flirting. Let's go. Yep, I would say I would do that as well, homie. But if he comes in for the sing for the single resist. I'm in the water anyways, doesn't really matter. Let's just keep it going. Astonish. How much damage is that going to do? It's super effective. We can always disable it next turn. I don't see a reason to. I don't, th I don't think there's a reason to disable it when, when we when we can just get the kill here. And then it's, let, let's let's regenerate her out. If I can get a second Pokemon regenerator, we have a defensive core for sure. Big, big job. Good job, Slowpoke. You're tanking this entire thing. Valth wants to learn Bite. I think that's a good option for f f Flinch Cheese over Growl. I can swap out Slowpoke at any time, but th if that's their Slowpoke option, then I might just stick it out. This guy's an absolute beast. Trico wants to learn Quick Guard. Yes, what, is, what does Quick Guard do? Quick Guard. The user protects itself and its allies from priority moves. That's some really nice utility in a double battle. All right, quick guard. Let's roll. Ivy sent out Hoot Hoot. I think I will... I will... You eliminate stat changes, which doesn't matter. What I will do is I will yawn here. I will yawn. I will... Disable. 
So I tank one. I, I tank two. I'm fine. I disable. I do a wing beat. So this so you can no longer use that move. Which is m most undoubtedly probably your strongest move. And you're asleep. Let's use this turn, this free turn, to swap out to our... Meowth. You have Snore? Are you kidding me? I have to, I literally have to use Fake out here. A critical hit though, holy... Did you use Snore? You, used, you flinched anyway, it doesn't matter. That is crazy. I think I'm faster, let's use Bite, yeah. Look, give me a little flinch. Ooh, okay, Defog, that's fine. Dual wing beat, I think, is is disabled, so there's no reason to use snore. Oh, disabled no more. Okay, gotcha. We payday out here. I don't think our rival has a chance this time around. Okay, oh, Trico's evolving. Let's go. Yes, this is my first evolution. Yes. Grovile, my lad. My dude. Yes, let's go. Now he's looking fly. Congratulations, I evolved. Coins were scattered everywhere, and do we still have more Pokemon to fight? One more. Tora Cat. We already know what we're doing here. We swap to Slowpoke. I just don't think you got it in you. Yeah, Fire Spin. It ain't gonna do nothing. Slowpoke was trapped in the Vortex, though. I don't think I can swap out now. Hmm, that's actually kind of tough. Fire spin again. Does that kill? I think it does kill. Slow poke my regenerator. Oh, it doesn't kill. The fire spin ends, right? The fire spin ends. I live. If that, if I, I mean, I get the XP, which is the, the most insane part. Project, nice job. Growing to level 15. You want to learn sand attack? I, I don't think I can get behind it. Yeah. So, you'll do something eventually, I promise. Slowpoke was free from fire spin. I don't take the damage. The downpour continues, but I think that's it for this. Yeah, I picked up 90 bucks to go along with the extra earnings. Amazing. Keep at it. Yeah, we got, I mean, we're on round 25 now. That's incredible stuff. All right, let's definitely potion up the lads, though. Is there a super potion better pricing? It is. If you need it, which I do. Okay, I like that. Raise defenses if HP is below 25%. Give that to you. Very nice. Okay, as I'm entering the wild here, I think at 54 minutes into the video, I think I might turn this into a two, a two-parter run, and then we continue on after this. So I'll see you guys all in the next one. If you'd like to like the video, drop a like, and if you want to see more like this, subscribe to the channel. Bye.